Binwing, the lure that swims. I put together a how-to tips and tricks video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Well, hello there. Good morning. We are out on Lake Pepin, trolling the Finwing spoons, trying to capture some video, some tips, and some fun. So stay tuned. We just got lines in the water, and we will see how this goes with more details to follow. Nice fish. Going back. Hopefully that's all showing up well. Nice fish. Going back. Possibly a very subtle bite going on. I don't know if you can see that or not. Lagging back a little bit, a little bit. Well, we're going to see here right quick what's going on. So, yep. So, if you noticed how I didn't pull the rod out, left it in the rod holder, and cranked on the reel. That's my most successful way to hook fish. So if you noticed how I didn't pull the rod out, left it in the rod holder, and cranked on the reel, that's my most successful way to hook fish. So one of the interesting things is uh, this is a fairly large presentation as you can see and long and even the small walleyes certainly aren't afraid of it. And that was on sunset. Another critical aspect of using the fin wings is how to hook the crawlers on. I'll give you an example and hopefully this turns out okay. As far as video I mean. It's critical that you hook right in the nose on the front hook of your harness. Spread it on a little bit so you just get the tip. And then take the second hook, the treble hook, and make sure it's behind the collar. Something as such. So you want the ability for it to stretch out and not hold up on the crawler harness and make a nice trail. So, by the way, the fish we just caught was on the flame which is uh, not surprising here in Lake Pepin. It's one of the favorite colors. So one of the interesting things is uh, this is a fairly large presentation, as you can see. Uh, and even the small walleyes certainly aren't afraid of it. That was on sunset. Flags down, boards dragging back, perfect. So again, that fish is probably hooked, but I'm gonna do what I normally do. Feels pretty decent. Probably see in the background all the boats around me. 
I have a tendency to try and stay away from the crowd. Beautiful. Hopefully that's all getting captured because it's really hard filming by yourself. But it's fun. And I'll have to use the net on this guy. I'm not going to be able to lift them. Pretty decent fish for out here. And again, it's on the flame. Beautiful. Just get him in, take a look at him, put him back. Very nice fish. Just touching 24 if you can see it. So I'll show you how I'm doing the snap weight. First order of business, we let out 25 feet, free. All that does is keep the snap weight away from the actual lure. So I let out 25. Attach a one ounce snap weight, you don't need anything fancy, you can buy the expensive ones, but just use an old clip. And then I'll let out 15 more feet, and that should get it running around 12 to 14 ish. Then let your board out like you normally do, and I just leave the clicker on and let it drag back. We'll see if we can find another one. But it's the right kind. Hang on to them a little bit here. Well, being as I'm not keeping them. To purchase the fin wing spoons. Go to my website at pz-tackle.com and if you're interested in a guide trip on Lake Pepin, look me up through my website, my phone, or my email contact which is shown above on the card. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Sure helps the channel out. Thank you.